Hi everyone, so today I'm going to go over how I was able to turn this teacher planner into a homeschooling planner for me and my two little ones. I did customize the planner a lot by whiting out a lot of things that I felt that I didn't need. Um, one of the things that I did white out was this little section and I turned it into a school administration section for me. I also went ahead and wrote down our California homeschool laws as well as the home-based private school things that are needed as well as one of the major events that I need to complete once school starts. What I liked about this is that I had a cute little um, communication log but I went ahead and turned it into our reading log for my oldest as well as a field trip log for everyone here. It does have a lot of little tabbies here for each month and at the very end it does have a checklist. For our yearly plan, I did go ahead and just use these pages to kind of turn it into our course of study pages. I put everything for math, social studies, English, science, foreign language, art, as well as health key and electives for both my pre-K and my middle schooler, as well as the things that I'm gonna want in their morning baskets. In the graphing section, I did just use the first page as our class schedule, just to kind of have an idea of what I wanted to do each day. It has a good number of blank pages, so we'll see how I decide to use these throughout the year. Before we get into August, um, it does have this front cover, which I like because I'm using it to kind of get all our book list ready for the things we're gonna have for my pre-K. And then once you turn the page, you have your monthly overview, which I already have filled out because I'm a little extra. I do have the themes for playing preschool year two since I am gonna be doing that one with my four-year-old. Anything in green means that both my kids are going to be doing it and anything you see in purple is all going to be for my middle schooler. I did just decide to put her experiment and her test here that way I have a visual kind of what I need and since some curriculum is divided by weeks I am going to be putting the week numbers right here on the side. When I turn the page, it does show you a five by seven layout, which I like. I was debating on using this as another row for electives, but after kind of having that class schedule, I realized I can use it as my supply list. Depending on the books that we read, I do plan on putting them here as well as any things that are extra that we do for our morning basket or any other learning activities that we do throughout the year. I do have it, like I said, color-coded. Purple is my seventh grader, blue is my pre-K, and I kind of have just things lying around like that. As you can see, I whited out stuff because I decided to change my mind on certain things. I am extra, so I did already have the month of August planned out. But as you can see, I just have it based off of the days that I am wanting to do things. I'm leaving the page numbers purposely blank just in case we do fall behind or ahead with certain things. The science, the social studies, and the playing preschool, those do have set dates that have to be completed that week. So those are the things that I put in because that's not gonna change no matter what. But other things like the English, math, PE elective, those can vary depending on the day. So I just have it like that for now. And like I said, all of August is done and it did leave me an extra page. So that's just right there. What I also like is at the end of each month, it does give you two sides. So you can kind of write anything. I did see another TikToking mom say that she makes notes on her kids' progress, so I'm probably gonna use these pages to make any additional notes or reminders, like milestones or things like that. So we'll see how I utilize this to take just monthly, daily, weekly notes of our progress. It does end in July, so I did kinda go ahead and just put in the little stickers, that way um, we can just have it here, just in case we decide to do any summer activities and then back here at the end it does have the checklist. I did go ahead and wipe them out the original formatting because I'm not going to use it for that. 
I'm going to use this as the attendance for my 7th grader and pre-K. I've seen some families use this and they go up and down, so like number it 1 through 31, but I just like this version better, I know, but you guys got options. Like I said, I have two attendance logs because I'm going to have two kids. And I also did a lesson tracker, so I decided to take advantage of this. I didn't really see a lot of moms doing it this way, but... I just saw this and this is what I saw with my brain. So for my seventh grader, I'm going to be doing teaching textbooks, pre-algebra, the good and the beautiful, studies weekly, apologia, we're going to do Spanish, art, home economics, the kitchen skills, health, and um, she might want to major in psychology in the future. So we're just going to get her started on that just in case it's something she does want to pursue. I did go ahead and write everything down and this is kind of how I was able to figure out how many days a week we have to do these lessons to complete this in time. And then I did the same thing for my pre-kinder, preschool math at home, uh, the good and the beautiful language arts, science. I am incorporating health just because I kind of just want to go over it just to introduce certain things because when I flipped through the Studies Weekly Health book, there were some cool things that I just kind of wanted to throw in there. You know, it's not necessary, but I just I just chose to do it. I'm also going to try teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. That's um, we're going to just take it as we go. There's no really um, time constraint on by when we have to finish it. I am doing playing preschool year two and I'm also using a year of playing skillfully. So I decided to just map this out and have it like that. But as you can see here, this is how it originally looked like. It's like a student checklist, but you get a good number of these. So I know when I add my third child later on, it's not going to be an issue. And then at the very end on this page, it does come with stickers, but I ripped them out just because I just did that. But these are kind of like the stickers that it comes with. And yeah, that's how I was able to turn this planner into a homeschooling planner.